Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson about Adobe Illustrator where today I'll be teaching you about line tools. So the line tools are situated on the left side on our toolbar over here. Now when I right click this you can see that we have five types of line tools. Line tool segment, arc tool, spiral and etc. I'll be going through all of these line tools today so that you can understand why we use them and how we use them. So first things first, the line tool segment. Let's click on it and let's begin showing you how each of these tools work. All right, now when we have our line tool ready, we'll just create a line by clicking and dragging our mouse button as you can see over here. And on the right side, we have two things in our pop-up window. First is the line measurement. As you can see, when I increase it and decrease it, it shows me the leisure, it shows me the measurement of the line plus also the degree in which the line is in all right now say i want to create a straight line but i have a very unstable hand movement which is why i cannot create a straight line for that reason i will just hold down shift and then create a straight line and you can see no matter where my mouse is moving in a certain angle it does not move that easily unless you cross the threshold where it will create certain angles at a few degrees as you can see here 90 45 and 0 and also etc a lot more so now let's create this line as you see and now i will just click on the artboard over here using my left bounce button click and you can see that the line segment tool options come up here you can fix many things of our line tool including its length its angle and also you can fill the line all right so say as you can see before i wanted a line in a zero degree but here it's showing me there are some errors so i'll just go back and put zero over here now it will be perfectly fine and there you go and now our line is perfectly zero degrees and we have no problems with that now say that you want to change the measurement of our line for example you want to change it from points to centimeters or millimeters for doing that we will just uh for doing that we will just click on our selection tool and then click on the background now you can see that the line's gone but i'll just fill in a line no 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 uh, i'll just put in a stroke put in the stroke color so that you can see where my line is there you go you can see the line easily and now after clicking the background we will go to preferences where you can see that we have the options of unit over here if i click on that you can see in the option over here we have the si unit of points now if you want to change the points to pixels pickers inches whatever measurement you want you can select it from here say i want this in centimeters or in meters so i will click centimeters here and press on ok now whatever line i make using my line tool it will be in centimeters as you can see over here right so that is how you change the si unit of your line if you have any problems while making them okay all right now i'm going to make another line in a specific angle for example 145 degree angle so what i'll do is I'll just click on this anchor over here, press shift and say I want the 135 degree angle right there. Okay, so let me let go of the mouse click and now you can see that both of these lines are made over here. Okay, now that I'm done, let me go back to the selection tool and let's say that I want to merge these two lines to create a shape in my rectangle, okay? Not these two lines, I'm sorry. Let me make another line over here, okay? Let's make it 45 degrees there you go and now let's use the selection tool bring this whole line over here let's get rid of this line for now now i have these two let me group them together okay now let's say i want to create a rectangle over here all right let me fill in the color to be yellow and now I want to bring in the line over here to the front. So for that, I'll just click on the rectangle, right click, and then I want to go to arrange. Then I want to say that I want to send it backwards. So there is a keyboard shortcut also given there as control and second bracket. 
Okay. Now you can see that my shape has gone back and now I can use the path to create a shape over here using my line. Okay. So let's say I want the shape to be like this. I want this corner to go here and this corner to stay here. And I'll show you what I'm trying to do. So first things first, I will take the direct selection tool and then move this corner over here, move that corner over here. No, this isn't move this corner over here and move that corner over there. And there you go. I have a weird shape that I wanted to accomplish. And now I can just remove the line that I have placed here and just delete it later on, as you can see. And there you go. They're deleted. Now say that I want to create another line segment over here and there will be some angles over here that will be here for the logo. So let me create some lines. Okay, now I'll use the selection tool to bring the line to the corner right there. After that, uh, let me group them both together so that I don't have to move them in any awkward fashion. All right, now that we are done, there you go. Now I want to bring this corner right here, so I'll just go over here. Then it. Let me create an anchor point right here and right over here. Okay, now let's go back to the selection tool. Okay, now that we are done making our shape over here, let's move on to the next part. Now we'll use the R tool. So basically, let me delete this shape over here right click over here and then bring out the R tool. Now you can see that when I right click on the screen over here, it brings out the arch segment tools where I can edit their uh, their X, Y axis lens, then the type I want them to be in and their base. All right. So uh, there's also a slope indicator and controller, and I can also feel the arc over here. All right. Now you can see that after doing that, our arc has been created we can also create the arc by ourselves in any manner possible now let's say i want to click on this arc and then go back to the line segment tool right click it and say i want to put the base in y-axis and press ok now you can see that i have a different type of arc now say i want to decrease the slope to 69 and I want it to be closed and I want it in the X axis. So I press OK. Now you can see that our line over here or the curve line over here has been shaped in a curved manner and I have a closed anchor. All right. So this is how you basically use the arc tool. And if you want to rotate the shape of your arc tool, you can just click on it, press R, and then rotate it by yourself. Okay, just click on the uh, arc tool that you want to rotate, and then hold R, and then rotate it as much as you need. All right, now I will show you how to use the spiral tool. So let's go over here and click on the spiral tool. And now if I left click, on the artboard, you can see we have the radius, the decay, and the number of segments, and also the style we want to use. Say, I want the number of segments to be seven or five, yeah. And the decay rate will be the same, and the radius, I want it to be 1.7, which is all right, and let's press OK. Now you can see that my art tool is over here. Even if I press R, I can also rotate it like that. And then, if you want to increase the amount of circles in our arc tool just create another arc let's just create another arc and then say you want to increase the number of segments to nine and i want this style to be like this and say the decay rate is like 50 percent this
and then say the rate is 50 percent this time so 50 and press ok now you can see that this time my curve over here it's not that good let's change it to this one and this time i want the radius to be at least 90 percent and then now say i want the decay rate to be at least 70 percent now so i'll write 70 over here then i'll press ok now you can see i have a new spiral over here and that is how you basically use the spiral tool and if you want to change the strokes you can do that by clicking on it and then going to stroke after that you can select black and then increase the stroke size increase the stroke size by using this option over here in appearance all right you can also decrease it as much as you want okay so that's how you use the stroke next tool that we have is the rectangular grid tool so the rectangular grid tool before that let me just delete these images over here Now let's use the rectangular grid tool and here you can see that we can create a rectangular grid over here which we can also use to make some calendars. For example, I want to put some text over here. Let's say I have the number one. Okay, so let's do that. One, one, okay. And let's decrease the font size there you go now after that i'll just click over here now i'll just press alt and copy it now i'll go over here and bring all of these things Right here. Now, if you remember the last lesson, we can actually group all of these things in a pretty easy manner. So I'll press and hold Control and press and hold Shift, then select all of these numbers. And after that, I'll go to the Align option over there. And I'll say that I want to vertically or horizontally, now vertically, horizontally distribute left and also center. Align to center and align to the top. There you go. Now, this is how you basically can create the calendar and let's say i want to remove this and there you go we have a quite a starting design for a calendar as you can see over here all right after the rectangular grid we have the polar grid tool so how do we use the polar grid tool it's pretty easy we just go over here select the polar grid tool and if you want to see the settings of the polar grid tool you can see it over here number of concentric dividers radial dividers and size which all which you can all edit over over here and press ok and as you can see we have a polar grid right now and if you want to decrease or increase the number of and then now decrease the like decrease increase like normal so now say i want to increase the size of my polar grid so i'll just press shift and increase it there you go now say i want to move it over here and then I can also remove the parts of the polar grid by ungrouping them and now I can remove this whole section over there you can see that's there let me just fill and then stroke it to black so that you can understand what I'm trying to do there you, go. you can see it properly now and you can also ungroup this part to divide whatever you want from our 
Nice. All right. So that is all for this video. I hope you have understood how to use the line segment tools. And thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video.